But I'm curious, Don Chua, if you're voting AL Cy Young right now, I mean, I guess you can kind of flip a coin, but who's your choice? Well, right now I have Verlander at the slight, slight edge right now. He's top three in all of baseball in his pitch, strikeouts and whip, and obviously he leads the league in wins. But he's the ace. He's still the ace getter right there. He's still the guy that sets the tone in that rotation. He's the number one starter. But if Garrett Cole goes seven and one, his next eight starts, <laughs> you know, with a one, he can steal some first place votes, but it's going to be a two horse race. Yeah, I two. totally agree. I think you hit it right on the head. And you know what? There's nothing more exciting than to have two guys feeding off each other. Mm -hmm. You know what? Hey, you, you, you know, J Justin goes out, has a big game. Next night, Garrett Coles, well, I, I, got, I got the same kind of action you got. It got us to thinking, because, you know, you're looking at the Yale Cy Young, and right now it's those two, and everyone else is really behind them, absolutely. right? And, oh, absolutely. And, and if you look in history, this has not happened very often. As a matter of fact, it's only been four times in the history of the game that the top two vote-getters in the Cy Young were on the same team. That's it. Four times the last one was Randy Johnson and Kurt Schilling, who did it actually a couple of years in a row. But that's pretty amazing, and I'm... Barring something crazy, it's going to happen this year. So the Red Sox come in to today, six and a half back of the second wild card spot. And currently with the Rays losing, they're staying there until they see the result of this one. They done, Dontrell? I'm not giving up on them just yet. I know you guys want me to stick a it's fork It's just because you picked them to win the division. <laughs> I'm not giving up on my guys. There's way too much talent and experience in that locker room to give up. They can have a good week, a good rotation week. We're waiting for those guys to break out, especially in the rotation. I mean, with sales and price, they can turn it around in a week, pick up some games, put it in striking distance. All they got to do is cut it to three games, two games. They're right there. But I don't like what I see on their faces. They don't look confident right now. So that's a little concerning, only having 48 games left. You got to pick this up, and it needs to be a little sense of urgency. Don't try too hard, but play within yourself. But you need to be urgent in that locker room and try to make up some of this. Yeah, ground. this, you know, they're... they're they're the world champs. I mean, you know, they know how to win. And therefore, I think there's time left. We're looking at what the Mets are doing right now. Well, they all of a sudden, they go out and they win 10 of the next 12. They're, you know, they're flying high again. I, these, guys are, these, these guys are champions. They know what it's going to take. And you know what? They're, I don't care what anybody says. That, that hangover has got to get over with. And they've got to start bouncing back. Yeah. What, do you, what can you do in that spot as a manager? They, they, train, you said. They, they just look a little bit gassed right now, right? They, they look at, so as a manager, what do you do? How, how can you help the situation and get the players on the right well, track? Well, I, I, I certainly, I think Alex has done, you know, he showed what he, the job he can do last year. Now he's, now he's got a challenge ahead of him. Right. And, that is, and that is to make sure these guys have the energy and every night they're ready to go. They're, they're, they're prepared at the max. I know that, you know, I, 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 I believe what you just said. I think they have the talent. They're certainly offensive. They, got some guys, they have some guys having big years. But as we said earlier, you know, it goes back to those guys in that mound. And when you got to start stopping the other team, they got they got their pitching staff, you know, that bullpen's got to start getting their job done. And, and I, again, I think we had enough time to get back in it. It's simple. As a coach and as a manager, you have to know each and every one of your players' personalities. You have to know which buttons to push. And, uh, me, you had to calm me down because you knew I was frustrated out there and I wanted all or nothing. Somebody, some other guys, you got to kick in the backside. So he has to really go down the list and see what buttons he can push with every single guy to get the best effort out of them. D-Train picked the Red Sox. He's staying with them. I'm I tried. With the Sox. I Lots tried. the rules for everybody. We're going to make up this ground. Down, baby. I, I tried so we're gonna hard. We're going to make this up. Make I know there's Twitter. some Yankee fans in here, so we're going to make that ground up. <laughs>